Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding with Bharat channel. So as you know, we have discussed Z algorithm and KMP algorithm in the videos, in the recent videos. And I wanted to take up more questions for practice on these string matching algorithms. So that is why we are doing this problem today, which is shortest palindrome problem. This is a problem which is asked in a few companies in the past. Like as you can see, it has a 214 number. So kind of like a traditional problem. So without wasting any other any further time, let's just go ahead and dive into the problem. So the problem says, let's say we are given a string S. So first thing we are given a simple string. We want to convert it into a palindrome. And how do we want to do that? We want to do it by adding characters in the front of the string. So as an example, let's say if your string is BABA, uh, -B -A, right? BABA. -B -A. So let me go to the drawing board. So let's say I have my string as BABA. -B -A. So what I can simply do is add an A here. And as you can see, it forms a palindrome because a B A B A is a palindrome. So simple idea. You need to add some characters in the beginning to convert the given string into a palindrome. What is a palindrome? For some of you who don't know this, it is a string which reads same from start to end and end to start, right? So yeah, we need to convert it into palindrome. Now let's look at the question further. It says you want to return the shortest palindrome that you can make shortest palindrome you can make by performing this transformation. So if I, if I translate into another terms, you want to add the minimum characters to the beginning of the string so that the resulting string is a palindrome. Let's look at some of the cases as well. So if you look at this case, this is very similar to the case that I had written on the whiteboard, just adding a one a in the beginning would Converted into triple A, C, C, triple A, which is a palindrome. So simple. If we look at A, B, C, D, we need to actually add D, C, B in the beginning to make it D, C, B, A, B, C, D, which is a palindrome. So that is the entirety of the question. If you want, just pause the video for a moment and think, how would you come up with a solution for this? If not, let's just get started and dive into it. Okay. So the first thing that you need to observe here is that let's try to figure out what is the worst case or what is the upper bound? How many characters I need to add as an upper bound? Like, like if I add these many characters then my job would definitely be done for any string in the world, right? Can I come up with that number? So great if you were able to think. So the answer for that is if I have any string in the world, right? Let's say B, C, D, E, F, anything, any huge string. What I can simply do is I can take the last part of the string, except the first character, reverse it, right? So reversing it would become F, E, D, C, B and just put it in the beginning. So F, E, D, C, B. So now can I say for any string of length n taking the last n minus one characters, last n minus one characters, except the first character, reversing that and putting it in the beginning would actually make it a palindrome. Why would it make it a palindrome? Because the last part reversed put in the beginning, that means they are going to be the same and the middle character is repeated when we read from left to right and from right to left. So. In my worst case, the answer would be string dot size minus one, right? This is the first and foremost simple observation that we can always and always make an answer less than n minus less than or equal to n minus one. Okay. But what about the cases when the answer is less than this value, right? Which is not our worst case. So let's think more on that. How will that happen? So in a way, in this worst case that I have written, if you think about it, what is actually happening, right? So what is actually happening? What actually is happening is this middle character, which is A, is becoming your center of palindrome, right? Is becoming your center, center of the palindrome. So the first character is becoming the center of the palindrome 
and then you have moved the second character to the second last position like just before a move the third character to two positions before this move the fourth character also similarly to four position before this right so any character on the right side is just copied to the left side that is what is happening right now if i want to make a shorter string which is a palindrome then in a way can i say not my a character but some other character like the future ones would become the center so so let's take an example let's take the example that we started with b a b a so here also you can make you can make a palindrome with n minus 1 right what you can do is you can just take this a b a reverse it and put it in the beginning so this is a possible solution but it's not the best one because we can make a smaller one how can we make that smaller one so if you think about it what i can do is for that i can shift my center to the next one which is this a if i shift my center to this a that means a matches right to it left to it b and b matches right to it a doesn't have a partner so i'll just copy this a here similarly like i shifted it to a if i had tried to shift it to this b then i would see that okay a and a match b doesn't have a partner on the right side but right side i cannot add anything so this case is not possible right okay do you get the idea so if we have a string let's say if we had a larger string than this then we could have still tried to shift it even further so right now when you take this a as the center b is copied a you copy b you also copy this a this b this this a right so it will be a huge string but if i shift this center further let's say i shift it here or let's say in for that for that matter here on this b then what will end up happening a and a match b and b also match then further a and a also match and it can keep on matching matching right you need to look at one thing if the right side exhaust then you would have you would have no way so you need to keep it till half of the string because more than half it's not possible if you go more than half then on the left side there are more characters in the right side there are less characters so it will definitely not be possible to make a palindrome because we don't have an operation to put characters at the end okay so now now that we have the clear idea let's let's look at and make one more observation right okay so if i want to shift my center one step then that means the one on the left should match with the one on the right so can i say this portion should be a palindrome right if i want to move it one more step then that means two characters on the left should match two characters on the right so this entire thing needs to be a palindrome then only i'll be able to shift it two steps similarly when i shift three steps then Three on the left, three on the right should match. So you would you would make length equal to three plus three six plus one seven. So seven length that needs to be a palindrome. So in a way, what I can do is I can try to shift my center one by one to the right side. That will tell me how many are on the left, how many are on the right, and that will tell me if this portion is a palindrome or not. If it is. then it's well and good and i can shift it otherwise i cannot or in other words i can say i want to find the largest prefix palindrome so if you actually look at it we are looking at the prefixes right and we are interested in those prefixes that are palindrome because then they can be kept as it is we can put the center in the middle and rest of the things will copy to the front so in a way the question reduces to what is the length of largest palindrome prefix okay one more thing like if you have been following you might be thinking that 
right now when we are shifting we are only getting odd lengths like 3 5 7 but what if the longest prefix is even so actually even is also possible so if you think about it right now i am shifting just to next character but what if i shift into between two characters so let me take an example let's say i had bba right simple string pba so in this case i can shift my center here in the middle of the two b's right or let's take a bigger one just to illustrate it further so here middle so that the left two and the right two match and i just need to copy this a so this time the center is not at one of the characters but it's in between two characters and we have even length palindrome right so both odd and even length are possible we just need to look at the largest palindromic prefix right largest palindromic prefix whatever is the length we would take the remaining characters and put it in the front after reversing it so i hope this much is making sense to everyone and you were able to relate the entire solution till this point so the problem with like hard problems the hard problems of lead code is that you need to do a lot of copy pen you need to come up with actual copy pen based solution that what is the simplest way of reducing this question into a solvable problem so now this looks like a more approachable problem which is finding largest palindromic prefix largest palindromic prefix okay let's think more on this so here you can again pause the video and think how would you find the largest prefix which is palindrome okay great if you were able to think so brute force idea would be simple you would go ahead and look at length one length two length three length four length five right so just just a loop of length and for each length just check make a fun function check palindrome and that would check if this portion is a palindrome or not right so in a way if brute force way if you write it what i'll do is i'll say for length equal to one to s dot size let's take the s dot substring starting at zero of this particular length and check if it is palindrome or not if it is a palindrome this could be a possible length so i'll take the maximum and whatever that maximum length is i'll take the remaining characters reverse it put it in the beginning right so it's it's more or less an implementation kind of a problem okay but if you look at the time complexity of this right so you are running this length loop which will take you o of n time because your length would go from 1, 2, 3, 4, up to n, right? So, O of n. For each length, you are taking that substring, checking palindrome. So, checking of palindrome is also a two-pointer kind of approach or, or if you want to write it in some other way, it's perfectly okay. But basically, there are thousand ways to check a palindrome. Uh, but all of them, all of them would happen to be O of n. So, the net complexity of your solution would become n square because you are doing o n operation inside an o n loop so o of n square right okay now the question says if we look back to the question it did not want it n square your n is 5 into 10 to the power 4 so 25 into 10 to the power 8 will definitely tle right so we need to do better than n square and we need to come up with a linear solution which is o n solution so for that, we'll go back to our string matching, right? So let's let's see how string matching can help here. So let's go to the next part. Okay. So I'll again write a string. Okay. So as I said, I'm interested in the longest prefix, which is a palindrome, right? But how to find this quickly? how to find this in o n time so if you think about it when i reverse this string right okay first of all what is a palindrome can i say a palindrome is something which is read the same from going left to right and right to left right so 
going right to left in a way is equivalent to reading it in the reverse fashion so a good idea to think whenever you are dealing with palindromes is to reverse the string and then try to find a pattern right so exactly that is what we are going to do we are going to reverse this and see if that helps so let me reverse this c d e then again a b a b a oh my bad e d c e d c right e d c then a b a b a yeah this is the reverse string that we get okay so prefix prefix which is there in the original string we are interested in longest palindromic prefix prefix here if you think about it becomes suffix right so this exactly goes here as a suffix so here it was prefix here it has become suffix right here it has become suffix and if you think about it reversing a palindrome keeps it same so reversing it still keeps it as ababa so in a way can i say if i combine these two strings combine the original string and the reversed of it and then try to find the longest prefix which is also a suffix right longest prefix which is also a suffix then that is in fact the part in the end which got formed by reversing from the beginning so if this suffix and prefix match that means that is the longest palindrome so longest prefix which is also a suffix and if you remember from our kmp video that is nothing but lps right the lps at a given position is the longest prefix at that position which matches the suffix so we'll be just and just interested in lps of the last element okay so yeah just to repeat it we were interested in prefix which is palindrome when we reverse it that prefix becomes suffix because it goes to the end plus reversing a palindrome keeps it the same so that prefix will exactly be the same at the end also at the suffix end as well you can also see here any of the other smaller prefixes also like aba they are also the same or it's just a that is also here right you can take any string and you will be able to see it because that is the nature of how things are happening okay one important thing to note here you cannot directly just combine the strings because what can happen is let's say if we had a string like a a i reverse it and i combine it so a a now when you calculate lps at this point at the last point then actually if you think about it the proper prefix that would match is of length 5 which would match with the prefix so to avoid such cases it's best to introduce a junk character in the middle so what i'll do is i'll introduce a dollar in the middle so now it will make sure that only three characters which is the maximum length actually match right so now we have all the bits and pieces to complete our code puzzle what we would do we would take the string we would reverse it we would append a dollar and the reverse string at the end we would compute the lps array because lps array would give us the longest suffix that is equivalent to the prefix that is what lps means in kmp then we would look at the lps of the last portion right so let's go back to our previous case we will look at the lps of the last portion last element here it is 5 that five characters match and what we would do we would take the remaining characters from s reverse it and put it in the beginning so just that as an idea so this is using kmp let's also think what will happen if we do a similar thing with z right so we we had learned one more algorithm which is the z algorithm so can we solve it via z although this is this is clear cut use case of lps because prefix suffix is happening but there is a solution with z also so let's see that in action as well so if you remember what does z of i store z of i stores the number of character after this position that will match with the prefix 
right but it doesn't it doesn't work for suffix but if you think about it any position any position where we want to take the entire suffix match with the starting that means z of i at that position has to be equal to the number of remaining characters so three characters plus three would take you to the length of the t right so yeah so with z also what we can do we can combine the string in a similar fashion compute z then run a loop from back and see what all z of i take you till the end of the string like what of what all z of i have value equal to the remaining characters in the string and out of those take the maximum z so here also you'll see there will be three here also you'll see there will be one like one character matches here you'll see there will be five that five characters after this match with the beginning so z of this position would actually be five so you'll have to take the position where z of that position is equal to the number of remaining characters so even with the help of z algorithm we can actually solve this okay so let's look at both the codes one with kmp one with z and uh, yeah let's try to conclude the problem so i'll start with the kmp solution so first thing if you see i've written a corner case so actually there was like i submitted it and it got wrong answer because of a corner case of empty string so yeah good point to note even for me that we need to look at empty strings when we are dealing with uh, strings especially right so if it's an empty string we need to return empty nothing we can do otherwise what i do i create try to create a string t having s dollar and reverse so i added s to it i reversed s added dollar added reversed s right and then reversed s back so that now i have s in the original shape that it was and i have met t also so basically t is s plus dollar plus reversed s okay so i have met t next part i made a call to get my lps array for this t so lps is very like you can say copy pasted from our kmp video or when we do z also it will be copy pasted from our z video right so if if you want you can check it out the kmp video here i think it should be available on the right side yeah okay now what i do the number of characters which matched are lps of the last position if last position say three characters that means three characters in the suffix match with the prefix so now we need to take portion from s after these three characters so that is what i have done i have calculated the characters to be appended as s dot substring matched so that means if matched is 3 take the substring starting at 3 and till the end i have reversed it and returned this reverse string plus s right so in the beginning of s we'll add the remaining reverse characters so yeah if i look at the same thing with z the first two portions are going to be exactly the same calculating t like basically creating the t string and doing this if i know the number of match characters right only this part would change so let's see into z as well so let's go here right so if you see what i have done again s is empty return create t very similar exactly like not very similar exactly the same as the previous one then get your z so call the function and get your z values for each of the positions now we try to calculate how many match by going a reverse loop into the length so let's let's see if one character two character three character up to n characters actually matched inside the string right so how do i check that let's say i want to check if one character matched or not i look at z of last character right which is z of t dot size minus 1 if i want to check two characters i would look at the second last position in z of equal to t length three characters again third last position so that is what i'm doing if z of t dot size minus i if it's one first last if it's two second last one and so forth 
if that is equal to the number of characters which is i then this is matched so these many characters actually matched so i'll i'll take the maximum because we are running a back like we are running a loop from 1 2 3 4 up to n so it's like the maximum that will match will come at the end and that would be stored in this matched so once i have the matched again the same things find the characters to be appended reverse put it in the beginning plus s yeah so both of these solutions one with kmp one with z should solve this particular problem okay if you have been here so far and actually are planning to submit this solution and understood the solutions do give this video a like do subscribe to the channel if you are new here and yeah let's see you guys tomorrow where we'll probably take up one more problem on string matching and yeah do some more practice on it great also let me know in the comments what is the next topic that if you want me to pick what should i pick right for taking into taking it into consideration cool then okay bye bye everyone see you tomorrow